All right, so I got the whole crew here again today. Oh, the next one, Michelle's with us today too. That's Mickey's wife. What we're planning on doing is feeding all the goats in the corral that I have. We'll run the goats through this little catch pen stall area. We're gonna check their FAMACHA score, which is an eyelid, which tells us if they're anemic, they have some worm load. We'll worm the ones that need it. And then there's about four or five that we're gonna put in the breeding pen for some fall kids. I only kid the goats once a year, but have two kiddings in the years uh, to split them up some. So that's what our plan is. We'll just kind of keep you updated and show you how it goes. Hey, when they get all in here, I'll let you shut that gate, man. Woo, come on! Woo, come on! Woo, go! Come on! Woo, go! So we're gonna check her FAMACHA score, which is the the uh, color under the eyelid. So it's push, pull, and pop. And you can see right in this area that it's, it's really light, light pink, almost white. So she needs to be treated. That shows a sign of uh, anemia because of the worms that actually suck the blood. And that's what we're gonna treat her with a wormer to try to get rid of the worms and increase her blood count. <laughs> Didn't like that, did you? She's a goat. Now here's the difference in the last goat and this goat. This is what they should look like. So again, Fomach is pushed down, pull the eyelid open and pop. You see how red that is? That means she's got good blood flow. She's got good amount of red blood cells and is not anemic. And that's why we are not treating her. We're just letting her back out in the pasture. Now over in the buck pen, we've got one of our young bucks, a small paddock. We've got our older mature buck and his buck paddock. They're side by side. So the plan is to put a couple of young girls, kind of smaller girls with one of our young bucks to give him a try. See what he produces. He's a completely different bloodline for us. He's a green pastures, farms buck. And then I've got Alexander which is a grand farm buck. And he's our herd sire here. He's just turned just over two years, I think now. So we're really proud of him. Put our mature girls with him and uh, see what we get. It's always exciting. 
five months from now, guys, we'll see more little kids on the ground. See how it goes. So we're here this morning, Sunday morning. Yesterday we did our separation and our treatment of our uh, girls that needed to be treated, which was pre-breeding season. Not a lot of interest yet in the does. They've been kind of running them around a little bit, but hadn't seen any actual breeding, but it's only been 24 hours. The last of August, 1st of September, we should have more kids on the farms. Uh, we've got one young buck a year old and five does with him two year old buck and about eight does with him so we got all this finished up yesterday we got them all separated now we have feed and hay in both lots and 150 days from now we should have babies that's gestation on the goats so we're looking about august 20th to the first of september we should have a new group of kids on the ground then so thanks for watching. It's been kind of a long video. There was a lot to it. Some treatment and movement of those goats. If you're enjoying this content, go down and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. It sure would help us out. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. And we'll do it all again tomorrow.